Mengemat Easy on the portable system Life Base 3. Training video. Hello. In the following demonstration of Mengemat Easy and its Life Base 3 portable system, we will show you the ventilator's operation and major applications. Please keep in mind that this video is not intended as a substitute for professional device training or for a thorough reading of the instructions for use delivered with your device. With Medumat Easy on our portable system LifeBase 3, you have chosen one of the best complete systems for responding to respiratory emergencies. The main areas of use and features of the complete system Medumat Easy on LifeBase 3 are 1. Providing inhalation therapy with 100% oxygen to spontaneously breathing patients by means of the innovative demand flow mode. 2. Treatment of respiratory arrest with emergency ventilation of adults, juveniles and children weighing at least 10 kilograms. 3. Support of Medjumat Easy users provided by the world's unique voice prompt function. And 4. A comfortable option for carrying 400 litres of oxygen. Presentation of System Components The protective bag surrounds the portable system Life Base 3 and protects the medical products on it from environmental damage caused by dust, rain and snow. The main compartment on the front can be opened completely by unzipping the zipper. With the compartment open, the user can operate all the medical products installed on the Life Base 3 and can reach the interior storage bag which holds accessories. The most important components of the portable system Life Base 3 are the 2 litre oxygen cylinder, the pressure reducer Oxyway Fix 3, the T shaped distributor with Walter connector to feed in gas from an external source of oxygen, the pressure hose between Medjumat Easy and the pressure reducer, the Medjumat Easy ventilator, the patient hose system on Medjumat Easy, and the ventilation mask. Removal of Life Base 3 from Wall Mount. The Life Base 3 is released from the Wall Mount Base Station 3NG by unlocking the portable system and tipping it slightly away from the wall. The portable system could be easily and comfortably carried by its handle or integrated shoulder strap to any scene of an emergency. Use on patients, oxygen inhalation, demand flow. In case of a conscious and spontaneously breathing patient, Medjumat Easy can be used for economical oxygen inhalation. At first, open the oxygen cylinder. Switch on Medjumat Easy by pushing the on-off switch to on. Pay attention to the voice prompts. To activate the demand flow inhalation function, turn the regulator knob beyond the stop notch into the demand flow range. You will notice some resistance in the knob at the white triangle. The green LED and the corresponding voice prompt, demand flow mode, will tell you that inhalation in demand flow mode has been activated. Connect the patient host system on Medjumat Easy with the ventilation mask and hand the mask to your patient. Instruct the patient to place the mask firmly on mouth and nose and to breathe in and out, evenly and peacefully. Ventilation If the patient ceases to breathe for 15 seconds, in the event of sudden respiratory arrest, for example, Medjumat Easy will immediately emit the disconnection alarm and a corresponding voice prompt. After the user has checked the patient's vital signs and ruled out an obstruction in the airways, possibly caused by vomit, he can simply switch Medjumat Easy to mechanical ventilation. The same mask previously used for inhalation in demand flow mode can be used for ventilation. Use the colour coding and patient group symbols for adult, juvenile or child to make the correct ventilation parameter settings. The current ventilation pressure can be read on the ventilation pressure gauge at any time. 
When the device is switched on, the maximum airway pressure is set to mask ventilation. This setting means that pressure will be increased to a maximum airway pressure of 20 millibar. Alarm, stenosis. If airway pressure exceeds 20 millibar, the stenosis alarm is emitted. At the same time, a safety valve opens and Medjumat Easy interrupts ventilation. The voice prompt additionally indicates the most common reasons for exceeding the maximum airway pressure. After the cause of the alarm, for example, a foreign body in the airways has been eliminated, ventilation of the patient may be continued. Always keep your eye on the gauge of the oxygen cylinder during mechanical ventilation. When the oxygen level of the cylinder is at about 50 bar, make sure you have a full cylinder on hand to replace the nearly empty one. Please note, never empty a cylinder completely. Otherwise, moist air can get into the cylinder and cause corrosion. Alarm. Oxygen supply pressure falls below 2.7 bar. If the oxygen cylinder does empty to a point when the pressure is below 2.7 bar, Medjumat Easy will immediately issue a visual and acoustic alarm. When voice prompts are activated, a corresponding spoken warning will be given. To continue ventilation without interruption, switch immediately to manual ventilation with a bag valve mask resuscitator for example, Weinmann's combi bag, until the cylinder change has been made and Medjumat Easy is once again ready for use. Changing oxygen cylinders. To change cylinders, unscrew the pressure reducer from the oxygen cylinder. Before you loosen the screw, make sure that all the pressure has been released from the pressure hose system. You'll make the removal of the pressure reducer unnecessarily difficult if you don't release residual pressure in the line. Caution. Important information. The tightening and loosening of all connections must be done only by hand. The device should always be kept free of oil and grease. If highly pressurized oxygen escapes, there is a danger of explosion. It's therefore extremely important the pressure reducer screw connections and valve threads are not treated with oil or grease and do not come into contact with oily cleaning cloths or greasy fingers. Before you open the cylinder brackets, make note of the point at which they are latched. The information will make it easier for you to close them again. To refasten the oxygen cylinder and pressure reducer after the cylinder change, simply follow the steps in the reverse order. Be sure to position the pressure reducer so that the gauge is easy to read. Now Medjumat Easy is ready for use and mechanical ventilation can be resumed. Use outside the ambulance. LifeBase 3 has an extendable clamp to allow the complete system to be hung from a stretcher outside the ambulance. Always make sure to tighten the screws again after you have extended the clamp. Experienced users prefer to place the portable system at the head of the stretcher when the patient's upper body is elevated. To avoid injury, do not place the LifeBase 3 portable system on or between the patient's legs. As soon as the patient has been loaded into the ambulance, all equipment and medical products are to be secured so that they are crash resistant. In the event of sudden braking or a vehicular accident, unsecured objects can become dangerous projectiles that can seriously injure medical personnel and the patient. For the crash resistant storage of LifeBase 3, the wall mount Base Station 3 NG is permanently screwed against the ambulance vehicle's wall. Before you put the LifeBase 3 into the wall mount, you must retract the clamp. Caution. Make sure that when you place the device in the wall mount that the red button on the release pin does not protrude from the release housing. Connecting to the ambulance's stationary oxygen system. 
To ensure the mobility of LifeBase 3 portable system for use outside the ambulance, you should switch to the ambulance's stationary oxygen system as soon as the LifeBase 3 has been placed in the wall mount. Further settings and alarms. Switch over from mask to tube ventilation. In certain situations, it makes sense to allow higher airway pressure during ventilation. By pressing the key in the middle of the mask tube ventilation switch, you can increase the ventilation pressure limit from 20 millibar to 45 millibar. Medjumat Easy confirms the activation with a green LED next to the laryngoscope symbol and with the voice prompt tube ventilation mode, ventilation pressure limit 45 millibar. Alarm. Disconnection during ventilation. Careless handling of the endotracheal tube can disconnect the patient valve from the tube. In this case, Medjumat Easy will emit the disconnection alarm after the machine's second unsuccessful attempt to apply a ventilation stroke. At the same time, the ventilation pressure gauge will show a pressure of 0 millibar. Alarm. Device malfunction. Medjumat Easy also emits an alarm at a device malfunction. If a malfunction is detected during the self-test made when the device is switched on or during regular operation, all the LEDs in the alarm field will flash constantly and an acoustic alarm will sound. If the voice prompts are activated, the acoustic warning, device malfunction, administer alternative ventilation will be given. In this case, continue ventilation manually, for example with Vineman's combi bag and send Medjubat Easy to your local Vineman service partner for an overhaul. Alarm. Power supply. Medjubat Easy is equipped with a main and an auxiliary battery. Given the high capacity of the batteries, no replacement is required between the two-year maintenance cycles when the device is used under normal conditions. Batteries will be replaced with new ones as part of the prescribed two-year maintenance work. Hygienic conditioning. Medjumat Easy and LifeBase 3. Medjumat Easy and all utilized accessories must be hygienically conditioned after every use to prevent the transmission of bacteria and viruses to future patients. Make a functional check after every hygienic conditioning to ensure that Medjumat Easy has been correctly reassembled and is ready for use. Keep Medjumat Easy, the portable system LifeBase 3, the pressure reducer, and oxygen cylinder clean with a simple wipe disinfectant. If required, you can clean the LifeBase 3 protective bag in the washing machine at a maximum temperature of 30 degrees centigrade. Cleaning the patient hose system. You should pay close attention to the patient hose system as it has the most direct contact with the patient. Before you clean the patient valve, disassemble it into its individual parts. An important instruction. Always grasp the hoses at the ends, otherwise you could tear or damage them. Caution. Please note the following when cleaning the device. 1. Use only disinfectants suitable for the device materials. 2. Use the recommended amount of cleanser. 3. Do not undershoot or exceed the cleanser's recommended application time. 4. After disinfection, always rinse with clean water and allow to dry thoroughly. You should replace any lip or disc membranes that have become misshapen, torn or sticky. This instruction also applies to any plastic parts on the patient valve that are broken or torn. Do not use any tools when screwing the parts together. Tighten all screw connections only by hand. Making a functional check. To ensure that Medjumat Easy is ready for immediate use, carry out a functional check. One, before every use, for instance at the start of every morning shift. Two, after every disassembly for hygienic conditioning. And three, at least every six months. Caution. To make a functional check of Medjumat Easy, connect the patient host system and have the original Weinmann test bag on hand. Follow the test steps exactly as described in the instructions for use. Caution! If Medjumat Easy does not pass the functional check, repeat it several times. 
If Major Matt Easy still does not pass, please send the device to your local Vyman service partner for a technical overhaul. Thank you for your attention.